<laughs> Have you ever heard of the term a nigga wake up call? No. It is an incident where a person of color forgets that they are of color and are reminded rather brutally by an unexpected act of racism. Oh, have you brother. ever had any of those? Oh, brother. I'm just asking. I'm just, have, you think you've ever well, had Well, I'm, I'm acutely aware, Charlemagne, that I'm a black person, just as you are a black person. And when uh, Joe Biden insulted you by saying, mm -hmm. you ain't really black, we don't know whether or not you want to vote for me or vote for Donald Trump, uh, it seems to me that should have been a wake-up call on your part. How dare this guy come in here and insult you, a black man, and tell you you got to think a certain kind of way? I'm amazed that you weren't mad about that. Um, I didn't, I'm not going to say I, it upset me, just like I'm not letting you upset me. You know what I mean? I don't tend to get upset over things like well, that. But what I did say Well, well you just not talk not about, about a nigger wake-up call, and it seemed to me that that should have been a wake-up call on your part to have a white guy come in here who also said, by the way, uh, uh, about Mitt Romney, um, uh, uh, because he didn't want to put more regulations on Wall Street, going to put y'all back in chains. And Joe Biden has lied for decades about his civil rights record, claiming that he desegregated movie theaters and restaurants in, in Wilmington, Delaware, when he didn't, any, didn't do any of that. He lied and said that he tried to visit Nelson Mandela during apartheid South Africa. He did not. And he came in here and told you you aren't even black unless you think a certain kind of way. It seemed to me that should have been a nigga wake-up call for you, but it wasn't, apparently. Yeah, I mean, you no, know, for the record, I'm not a Democrat or Republican. I, I, I didn't think, say you were. I, yeah, I think both. I don't know what you are. I, I never yeah. even asked you about your party affiliation. Yeah, I think I'm just saying, you, but you are black. Absolutely. And, and to have a white guy come in here and tell you you have to say uh, think a certain kind of way, otherwise you quote ain't black. Wow. How should I have replied to him? You think? What I just now said. How dare you insult me and tell me I, I think as, as a human being, let alone as a black person. I don't tell you how to think, Joe Biden. How dare you come in here and tell me how, to, how I, I, I should think? I'm going to vote for Donald Trump if I want to vote for Donald Trump. And, and if I want to vote for Donald Trump, it does not make me not black. 20% of black people, black men, as I said, uh, voted for Donald Trump in 2020. Are they not black now? So only 80% of black people, black men walking around are really black, 20% are not, because mm -hmm. they voted for Donald Trump. How insulting is that? How condescending is that? Mm. I, I mean, you're probably right, but I didn't take it in that way. As well, I, I said, did. As I said to him in that moment, you know, it's just about me wanting something for my people. And I want to know what is he going to do for my people. And not only for my people now, how are you going to atone for the things you've done to my people? Right. That's it. Right. And this is a guy, uh, Joe Biden, who, when he first got into the Senate, hung out with segregationists, talked about how well, he, how well he got along with them, uh, talked about how he didn't want integration because of a jungle. Uh, this guy has made Absolutely. all sorts of insulting things to black people, and his policies right now are hurting black people. Inflation hurts the people at the bottom more than anything else. Letting a bunch of illegal aliens under, into the border are hurting black people more than anybody else, as I said earlier. He supports uh, opposes school choice when he has his own kids in private school. And we lost a year, almost two years of in-school education in California because of COVID that he supported. I mean, this guy has done monstrous things to black people and then for him to come in here and tell you how you ought to think as a black person it blew my mind as a person objectively who doesn't care about either party